Hello guys, I salute you wherever you are actually in the diaspora and those who are watching me within our country here. It is another bright morning that I welcome you to my YouTube studio. I say that welcome so much to my YouTube channel, I'm Maro Engineer. Today we are here at a new site. Also, I'd like to inform you more and more about actually what is happening in this place. So amazingly, I'm going to show you some of the things that actually I know those professional engineers, they are going to criticize. But that is life in reality and these things are practical. That they happen and the structures are there for years. If you think I'm lying, I have a building that was built in 1936 and it is there without even a crack. And imagine, this is the formula that was applied and I also was shocked when I arrived here the first time to see such a building. So in progress, I went out and did all the research. I even found out that there are other things that were done uh, during the construction that actually are maintained. And up to date, the building is there, it's very firm, and only the roofs, they are the ones that they normally change. I hope one of the fine days I will go there and find time to show you actually because you will not be able to access to know actually that that is, that that is the reality that's that's how that building was built so guys welcome so much to my youtube uh, channel so that we may also learn more, more and more how we do it in our country probably in your country they may doing they may do it different and those guys who believes only on written books may criticize what i'm going to show them but actually, I'm telling you that this is life in reality, and people normally do this in traditions and traditions. So, I was only taught one thing, that foundation is being determined that site. That the foundation of any particular building, any particular structure, will be determined at site. That what are we able to do as per the ground that we have. So welcome so much so that you may be able to see, focus and then have all what is going on here at the site. And also salute those who are just keep watching me and who are following me, who are giving me my positive vibes. I thank you a lot. I say as a society, I really appreciate what you are normally doing. So guys, welcome so that we may be able to share actually what we normally do. It's another bright morning. Here we are at a new site, a distance from Marwa's place. And here we are. We are ready to do some of the works to undergo here so that you also be with us so that we comment together and enjoy together. Otherwise, I say you, I tell you, thank you so much for those who have subscribed. Tell a friend, tell somebody to subscribe and then watch and we'll enjoy the content. Now, if you wonder, you are wrong. Imagine, this is mud. I want to tell you, actually, that the type of soil of this particular area is so much different with other areas. The soil at Kurialan, or the soil at this region next to Nyaboanse, it is sticky. Once it's a red soil, it is so sticky. So most of the people used to do it prepare bricks with it and here we are today we are using it in construction so here it is as cheap as that that actually once you buy a land you start construction you can opt to use this soil the loam soil actually as you can see they have already mixed it up and they are already using it so i'm showing you this is the foundation. It is just laid with the, some of the articles, as you can see. And here I'm constructing a perimeter wall. And this is the foundation base of it. So actually, I want to show you how they normally do it here in our country so that you are able to see what normally happens. So this is how you just dig the, the, the foundation and then you start uh, placing the hard cores just right away from the stove, the ground. Let me show you first how they do it when we start the foundation. You start laying stones the way you can see in this foundation trench. Actually, the soil beneath there, it is a maram soil. 
so it is hard so you just if you need to excavate it uh, further than that you need a mattock and it will really cost you because it is so much hard so here they are they start laying stones in that format and they make sure that the stones actually intercede or concepts with one another so that they start building so you can see we are now placing the stones starting the foundation and that's how we place them and then we try to tighten the stones not to be movable so this is one of the areas that actually i know those who entirely rely on books are going to say that engineer what you are doing is totally negative believe it or no or not this is how they do it here and they have successfully been able to do some of the works some of a lot of buildings around here and some do not even have cracks after being built with this so you can just imagine how the soil is it is the type of the soil that is very thick and it holds the stones in a very proper embedment so you can see here we are this the bigger logs they are being carried and then placed on the foundation then the construction goes on so after doing this we are going to put concrete i think i will be showing you the progress on daily basis actually how we do it so what do you normally use here we use the mason hammer which is here to cut the block stones that are big and uh, uh, the bigger one the bigger size we use them so this is how we place them you can see just place it you have to tie the strings so that the strings will be able to control you from not going outside so much i'll show you on the outer face for you to see actually what i mean so from here you can see they have placed the stones and you can see on the outer side how it appears now what remains here is that at the end of the day we are going to scrap off some of the soils the mud and then plaster it after plastering we are going to leave it to dry up then we continue with the progress of the construction so this is how we start and the strings are there to control so that the stones don't bulge coming outside so we maintain at the level where actually we want to build so this is one of it and entirely we have been doing it only that we don't do it on areas where actually there is a lot of flow of water so entirely we do it on a state where we know actually that there's no movement of it at all so i would like also to show you some of this the foundation that we have just placed it because i told you this is a perimeter wall we are trying to construct and you can see we have just placed it to the far end actually where it reaches so here in our country they do this and particularly here at the border so this is the type of foundation they normally start with their buildings and it is hard to convince people that actually this cannot work because they have seen it and they have lived in this place seen for so many days and actually people are be, are able to do the construction using the above method so this is one of the methods and the spaces i'm just leaving is where i will introduce the columns so the columns shall be placed there and then we will be able to do the construction so kindly watch i'm still showing you up the updates of what we are doing what do you think can this be accommodated in your country here in our country that's how we do it so you can see how the boys are carrying up the soil the stones yeah i told you the other day that actually they are being carried with what we call machela modo yeah. can you say something to our people if you remember this guy was on the other side of marwa's place and today is luck that is one of the guys i came along 
and I saw it twice that we also do with him some of the works. Say something. Uh, hello guys, my name is Modo. Today we got another job. Uh, he's not in Nambuhansa, but in Kirari. Yeah. He's in Boda with Tanzania. Yeah. So we are here busy yeah. building the foundation. Yeah. So what? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So that is the method actually we use normally to carry these block stone because if you use a wheelbarrow the wheelbarrow is going to be teared off very fast so that is the method they apply to carry up the stones so also here people have got the tendency of making wells yeah so somebody drills it uh, excavate it and this is how finally they place it there where it is lockable and this is one of the you just improvise one of the containers you just cut it in this manner and then it is used to get or to fetch water from below so the size depends the size of the container depends on actually the guys who are just uh, getting the water from down others like to place the five liters other 10 liters other 20 liters so it depends on the guys who are actually using it so as you can see you can see also there is a structure there believe me it or not that building you see it over there is a story building and this is the method actually they used once they always started the building and the it is it is existing i came to this town i found it and now it is in place so there are a lot of buildings just around that were done in the similar method and they are there also the perimeter walls this is one of the methods that they normally like using so i'm going to work to see that actually everything is done and we have attained the structure actually that we want so you can just imagine it is a place so this is a service road getting is a back street road so on these points is where actually you take control that the runoffs of water should be controlled otherwise keep in touch i'll keep you updated more and more about the story so actually guys as you can see these are some of the stones we're using here and uh, they call it chapati they call it a lot of names because when they say chapati they mean that the, the stones that are actually flat so they are in the form of like chapatis. Chapati is one of the meals that uh, uh, is prepared out of uh, wheat. And actually it is then uh, made uh, a meal for people to eat. So that is it. You can see we are now finalizing at the final step. And is trying to put the stones that will not climb over the, 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 the place that is circulated. Because actually you have to maintain the line. That's why you can see even if they are rough stones, they go with the line. So at the end of the day, this is what we acquire and uh, you can see how best it is. Yes, this is the best is it now. And guys are working up to see actually that we attain our final, our final grip. So this is it. So you just stop them, get in touch with the, 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 the mud, and that is actually what the guys are doing. Now, after doing this, we are going to place the concrete on top of it, so that it holds for us the stones not to move. So after, I assure you, after this um, mud has dried, it is sticks. For you to remove them, you have to... To use a little uh, of energy for you to remove them from actually the place they are. So I wanted to show you actually how it ends. So this is how it comes to an end. That finally we have reached there. And for this step we have just finished. So you can see on the other side, the one I showed you earlier, we are on the process of finishing. So here you just place and make sure that actually... Uh, it is on the level. Surprisingly, mm -hmm. once you are working on this, you don't need a trowel. Your hands become the trowel. So, don't be surprised that this is actually what normally people do here. Yeah, it is our tradition here that actually people make 
uh, those things in that manner. What we only uh, uh, you are required to is to know how to place them. So if you don't have this idea on how you place them, actually it's going to be very difficult for you to build them. So once you have done that, you have created the spaces. That's how you do it. You get the mark, you get inside the stones to hold the stones. So after they have done that, they move to our next level. You can see just by yourself what they are doing. So they are making it and to make it to be more, more, more fun. So this guy here, you can say something to my people, Geoffrey. Hi guys, my yeah. name is Geoffrey Momani. Yeah. And I appreciate to be here. Yeah. Uh, we are doing work here, so may God bless you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. He's one of the guys who is working here with us, and he's a P1 teacher. Only that he has not got the employment, so he has to do this some of the jobs here for us to attain somewhere. Fengal, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Nathaniel. Yeah, and we are doing our work in our site here. Yeah, I'm very glad to, to, to give you a updates on how stuff is going on. Yeah. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay. Can you just give them a laugh history of your life that actually are you learning? Are you a guy that went to class? Okay. Yeah. Like he has told you I'm a form for liver. Yeah. I did my form for some two and a half years ago. Yeah. And right now I'm doing this work with great income and how I'll go to my tertiary education okay. in near coming. Yeah, this is one of the fine guys that actually I decided to recruit him. He's one of the guys. Actually, my audience, wherever you are, if you are in need, actually help this guy. He's one of the guys who did his all level. And then after doing it, he was not able to enter into the university because there were some financial constraints. And the guy here is on the local construction place trying to do some of these works so that he gets up to get at least something that can start off this education so he's one of the bright guys they did it he had you had a b plus yeah yeah he had a b plus and mark you he, he was not able to enroll on the uh, the year that he was which year were you supposed to join the campus 2020, 2021 2021 september he was supposed to join the campus but he defied because actually he had no money to enter into the campus. So you can see just life in Kenya, we strain to uh, uh, um, up to this level. And you can see now it's 2024. Uh, down here, the line three years down, he has not entered to the university. Kindly guys, if you are to support, support this guy to join the campus so that he may also pursue his education. He did, it, he did that because of the family. There were other siblings that were behind him. He had to leave so that at least give great space for them to finish. So that's why I'm telling you in Kenya, you may see somebody judging figurally, but actually the purpose he has, but he has not got uh, at least where to be. So if you are interested, you just click on me and then I'll give you the full story of this guy. Because sometimes it becomes difficult for someone to explain why they are at the working place. But that is one of the factors I considered to at least assist him in getting this, some of these works so that he keeps on moving with life. So here we are, we are doing it. So actually guys, enjoy watching this and you can see that people are really working hard. So we are almost here finishing because our level is this rope. So once we reach at the rope, we are done. So I don't know whether at your country, do they normally do this? locally this is how they construct and that's why some of the buildings here can be a very firm uh, for some of the years yeah you can just see by yourself yeah thank you so much keep in touch i'll continue giving you some of the feedback so they bring stones according to the sizes that is required as per that time so that's why you can see them bringing them in that manner once they reach that actually they need a big ones, they bring the big ones. Thank you so much. Hello guys. I also wanted to inform you on how we take normal levels. 
I know the engineers normally rely on the dumpy level, but on our side here, locally, we rely on the hose pipe. Now, as you can see, the theorem applying here is that once that point, the water stagnates there, so that points come immediately to the far corner here. So you have to place a, a mark and then you tie up the string, which actually will be showing you that that is the attained level. So once this level from here will just be corresponding to the place of here. So that is what actually the guys are doing. And as you can see, there's movement of water. If you are very keen, you can see the movement of water running up. So you have to wait until the water settles. So once the water has settled down, then you are trying to know that that actually is the level that is required. So this is what we normally do locally here instead of having a dumpy level. Because you may not be in a position of buying a dumpy level, yeah. but if you use this actually and bring the dumpy level here, the results are the same. So this is one of the methods that we introduce or you modify locally to attain because all this is having working on the principle of uh, on the principle of hydraulics so f1 is equal to f2 for those guys who are back in high school you can remember that so this is the matter that is being applied here by the movement of water so as you can see the water moves around until it gets settled. So once it gets settled, it implicates that actually the level has been attained because yeah. the pressure at the other side will be among yeah. the, the same pressure at the, in the, the, the far end. Yes. Yeah. Wewe ndio unatakiwa inue ufikishe kwa level. Geoffrey, inua hiyo kitu yako maji yako ya settle on the level. So I'm trying to instruct the guy they are that to raise the level so that we attain actually what we want so they have to coordinate both the two the first guy at the other side and also the other guy so if i may just assist them so that they get the details where is the the mark where is the mark yeah so you only get off to roll what you got? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just balance. Yeah. So here it is. So it has attained the level there. So that guy on the other side is going also to place a mark. So yeah, give it time to settle down. So once it settled down, it means that actually the level has been acquired. So, just place. So, yeah. So, that is it. It has been done. Yeah. So, he puts up the level, mark, and then he will have so. to... Now, guys, here at the, the other side of the road, we have to use the cement because Actually, there is a drainage running down. So, if you place the mark, it is likely to be spoiled off. So, that's where we are applying this metal. So, you can see here, over here, we are just placing the mark. So, we have to do this because of there is a trench of the road coming down. So, if you apply the mud, it is going to be washed or stripped away. So, but in other areas, you just have to incorporate because there is no run force of water. So, for here, this is the method that we are applying. And as you can see, we are on, on going, doing after. What I know, most of the guys don't know how to do this in sun with the habitat. Because when it comes, it takes a lot of mortar or a lot of cement so that actually most people get scared. But uh, at the long run, you get that actually it's a bit expensive because if you use the, 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 the entire block, uh, which are machine cut or the, the rocks, which are natural stones that have been mined from the quarry, they seem to be a bit expensive. But once you use this properly arranged, 
you can just do it and come up with what you want as long as i normally tell people that you use what you have the availability of the raw materials that will be in place with you so it's the one that you use so as you can see here in our place we normally do it and we try to place the stones to be in a very good line so to check on the plumpness and to make sure that actually it is done as it is required so that's why you can see the guys doing this and already using stones uh, so guys at the end of the day we get that actually we have constructed what we wanted and it is more secure than actually the way somebody making it so after this we are going at the place where there is running water we are going to make concrete there so that we place concrete so that the runoff of water shall be running on a concrete surface in order not to interfere with our foundation so this is how we are doing it here and we look forward to show you more and more actually how we normally do these things so this is it i'll be showing you on process how we do it and this is how we construct using it i know some of the engineers may criticize say that the hard costs are not good for construction of the foundation but i normally tell people that actually the foundation is determined with the type of structure that actually you want to place on so if you are placing a structure that is a story building you can use this but at the end of the day you have to incorporate a ring in your space so that it holds firm the foundation so that they will not get spoiled so this is how we are doing it and as you can see we just place the motor to make sure that the place is more secure i continue showing you up what actually we are progressing about it so that you may continue enjoying it thank you have your time on watching until you reach the far end so that's it guys i also wanted to inform you about the sun because actually on the other day that i taught you about the sun i had the summary of the reactions people were trying to ask more and more about the sun and uh, actually the building sun should appear like this should have large gravels so the large gravels this one can be best in building this can be best in concrete casting yeah and also making blocks this is the best but don't plaster this in this type of sand so as you can see we have already done the first batch and once you apply water you should just apply water according to how you want actually to use the sand don't put it to be more waterly and always remember that water affects the strength of the sand so once you place a lot of water expect it to run off so I don't know when you can't how you mix normally sound because here we do it locally like this and then at the end of the day we run out doing all the things. So as you can see we are continuing on trying to make it. So this is our wheelbarrow. So the wheelbarrow is the one that we use to batch. So we normally say that this wheelbarrow should be used to batch three bar three wheelbarrows goes with one bag of cement because that is the ratio of one to three so that's normally how we use it so as you can see now as we build we use using the soil because now we are using the motor and actually it becomes much much more easier than when you can do it just alone without using the motor so i wanted to show you the face of the uh, the foundation and as you can see we are placing the foundation and stone capping so that it digs up the structure we want so what i was trying to explain to you is that i know most of the guys cannot be using these stones there are specified people who can be able to do it because actually putting these irregular stones to make something that is regular needs a skill. So, and that skill, if you don't have, you don't have it. 
So it can be difficult for you actually to make something like this. So at the end of the day, we are going to make up to see that actually the structure has been done and everything is viable as it is wanted. So this is how we do it in this country of ours. Can you tell me in your country where you normally use these stones in building, making up rubbles so that I know so know and share with you kindly guys. Uh, give a positive vibe, give me a comment to understand how it can be done best in your capacity. I told you engineering is a forest and every person knows it in a different dynamic. So it is not necessary that all we have to do something uniform. We can do in various angles, but at the end of the day, we are going to achieve one goal, that actually we have done what is supposed to be done. So this is how we are building it up. So I told you the reason as to why we opted to use the motor here. It is because there are a lot of drivers coming just right away from us. So if you make a mistake of using the mud one, it is going to sink and then everything is going to get crushed. So that is it. Keep in touch and inform me more and more about your country, how you do it. Yes, I wanted also to show you that actually when you are laying up the stones, you should bind them the way that you are bind them like this. So you have to arrange them carefully for them to attain the place where the motor is entering. So as you can see, we have just arranged, and the way we have arranged the stones, they are irregular, but maintaining the face offset to be constant. Also, you look at the points of the joints, that they don't become all the way through joints. So as you can see, we get in touch to make sure that it is not again a true joint. So at the end of the day, we were that actually we have been successfully been able to build using these rubber stones. So this is how they place it. After you have just edited it very well, and the guys being up here, you see. Okay. Mosambi, do you find it easy to place these stones on the the foundation? Not easy. Yeah. Right. Why is it not easy? Very difficult because you have used a lot of skids yeah. to do it. Okay. Yes. You place the stones. Do you have to put a level when you are laying up the stones? You must use a level yeah. in order to mm. become in a straight line. Okay. So as you, they can see very. Yeah. They can be smooth. Yes, smooth. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the guys who is doing this job and he has been doing it. How long have you done this job of the stone laying? I have experience of two years. Two years. Yeah. Yeah. Did you start doing this work by knowing it or you just learned it on the way? I it? I learned it on the way. Yeah. Is it yeah. as easy as building the bricks or blocks? No. Yeah. Not easy. So you knew how to build blocks, but uh, on how to build these stones, it took you time. By building the stones, yeah. it took a lot of time. Yeah. But in building by bricks, yeah. take a uh, Enough time. The shortest time the shortest possible. Time, yeah. uh, so you find yourself that you are able actually to do bricklaying fast yeah. than you can do about the stones. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So just continue so that we, we are rushing because of actually the rain that is coming. So this is how we bind it together to make sure that the place is so much a farm and to get a good deal. You can see. From the other side, let me show you. We have started finishing on top. And Omondi, maybe you say something to our people. Wasalmi. Hi, hi, people. Yeah. So it's one of the guys who is just doing this. And as you can see, it's now finishing the final touch. So at the end of the day, you'll see this level being maintained like so. So keep in touch. I'll update you more. Actually, as you can see, we are almost winding up. So at least the job we are doing today, we are winding up. And I would like to show you actually the far we have done and where we have reached. So because of the waters flowing down to the stream, so we have decided to create a trench here. 
River space for our foundation to be under control. So we created a trench here. And I told you yesterday that these holes are meant for, for the columns. So as you can see, everything has been done as we expect. And I was trying to explain to you that actually on top of the stones, we normally amount the cement mortar so that to protect the stones from weathering out. So this is how we apply it. First of all, to make sure that actually the stones remain in place. Then thereafter, we shall put concrete on top of it to make firmness on these stones. So once it rains, it, has, it will not spoil out. So it is time that actually we are winding up and guys are having a bath in order to have time to go and concentrate on other affairs. So I wanted to show you where specifically we have reached. And that's why I wanted to narrate to you that we started in the morning and now as you can see this is the final touch of the exactly what we have done here. So as you can see the foundation is ready in place here. So we are just waiting to have some of the other materials so that we place up the, the wallings as it is required. So we have done this to make sure that this place is so much secure. The trench I was talking of is this other side. So had it that we don't build with using cement, we expect that something may happen all around here or around the, the foundation trench. So that's why we did it so. And as you can see, we have already completed. And now we look forward to put the columns and then batch up the concrete on top of it for the effectiveness of the place. So guys, this is the match we have done for today and I hope you have also comments and other questions that you would like to inquire. You are free, you may ask questions, but I told you on the engineering concept, actually they don't allow a foundation using mud. So that is according to the books, but practically on the ground, it can be done in the similar way and then everything is possible. So one guy was just asking me about the foundation of the mud, how it, is, how it normally works. So I was in a position of explaining how this foundation is. So at least also I made him to understand that even the roads they use the maram is the key because if you don't compact maram well, then finally you don't achieve actually what you wanted. So this plot is irregular in shape. So don't worry why it meanders all along because that is the shape of the plot. And we had to build as per the plot that was what it was on this figure. So we're winding up and I say thank you so much for having time to listen to my video, to watch my video. I'm asking for all those who have not subscribed actually, kindly come back, subscribe and get more, more, more videos on actually on construction, how we do it here in Africa, here in Kenya, particularly next to Nyaboanse, that is at the border of Isbania. So this is what we have done for today. And due to rains that are ongoing here, it has forced us actually to close up the site because it is almost coming to rain now and we don't want to to get ourselves in in a situation where we hurry so we have to close for today and then we shall have to meet again tomorrow so i say that thank you so much kindly keep in touch give positive vibes if you have a question just ask i will answer you as according to what actually we have done here so welcome so much i look forward to hear also from you